Greg McClyman, Labour MP for Cumbernauld, Cosyth and Kirkintill East, Shadow Pensions Minister. Delighted to be here in Manchester at the National Political Conference. I think the big difference is trying to um, rebuild a pension system which works for working people. An obvious example is when we look into the, the workplace pension schemes which so many USDA members are involved in. The critical thing is to ensure that actually the money that USDA members are saving is being invested in a way which means that it will return a decent pension in retirement. And there's lots of factors involved in ensuring that happens, but a critical one is ensuring that those who take that money and invest it on USDA members' behalf are actually not taking too much money themselves in commission. It started off very well. I mean, we, we, we have to be um, always prudent around the fact that it's still got some to go before everyone's been staged, but it's, I right to say, it's a Labour policy. The Coalition have rightly taken it, continued it, and it's, it's worked well so far. But we have to make sure that actually everyone gets a chance to save into a decent company pension scheme. A good example of where the Coalition, in our opinion, um, have done something which is probably not the right thing to do is around raising the, the threshold at which people are auto-enrolled. So it means that uh, up to a million people who otherwise would be in the auto-enrolled pension scheme aren't in it and most of them are women simply because the threshold keeps rising. Yeah, pensions are so important. They, they appear complicated and that might or might not be the case but they're very important. And we're seeing over the last 10, 15 years uh, a pretty um, obvious drift away from final salary pensions guaranteed to a, a form of pension where so much more of the risk, indeed all the risk at times, is on the individual. We have to rebuild the system so that risk is shared between employers, employees and the state. And that's something Labour's committed to doing. For example, by making sure that every USDA member and every pension, pensioner who is saving in a workplace scheme can be confident that actually the people looking after their pension savings are acting only in their interests, independent trustees acting in the interests of savers rather than the conflicts of interest which can happen at the moment. Yeah, it's certainly the case that there's been um, a declining turnout more or less for 20 years now and that's critically important because if we're to win the election, we have to have a message of hope and positivity about actually the difference a Labour government can make. It can make that difference in pensions, in the ways in which we've talked about, making sure that actually um, the money people are saving is looked after in their interests and doesn't just become something where others in the city and otherwise make a good living off that money. But more widely, increasing the minimum wage, very, very important. More broadly than that, actually ensuring that at in work, people can earn a wage and a salary which enables them to support themselves and their family. I'd say that we have to get an economy that works for working people. Minimum wage rise, very, very important, absolutely critical, but more widely, actually taking on that task of making sure that jobs and work pay. I mean, it's so obvious that low pay is such a huge part of the problem in um, in the UK. Just recently I was I was in the company remain nameless. I saw an advert for a, a job that was really um, lots of responsibilities, you know, significant duties and it was seven pounds twenty an hour. And that was a, a manifestation of the wider problem, which is low pay is a crucial problem in our society and only Labour will actually tackle the low pay problem. Mm -hmm.